So today is uh, Sunday the 26th of March and uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to get the footage I wanted on the equinox six days ago due to the weather and the cloud was uh, preventing me from seeing the sun at sunset but uh, today was bright and clear. It was the first clear day we've had since the equinox so I decided to go down to this location at Bradley's Head on Sydney Harbour and just take a video of the sunset just from this location and uh, I've marked exactly the point on the jetty where it uh, joins the shoreline here because that's the uh, the reference I was using moving across to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Now today being 26th of March the sunset was at 18.59 which is uh, UTC plus 11 local Sydney summertime and the azimuth the angle of the uh, sun when it set was 272.17 degrees as you can see there. So if we come to Google Earth and we go to that same location and we draw a line 272.17 degrees right to the harbour bridge you'll see it's 1.73 nautical miles now i'll come back to that in a moment but um, if we just zoom out you'll see there's the location obviously in australia and if we zoom back in and look specifically at the harbour bridge you'll see that where that 272.17 degrees intersects the Harbour Bridge, the midpoint is about there. So it's just to the right of the midpoint as we're looking at it. And uh, you'll see that quite clearly in the video as we're, um, as we're going. Now, I've used a couple of drones. I've got my little Mavic Pro, which has got some fantastic footage today. And uh, one of my DJI Inspires as well. I've got two of them there, as you can see. And uh, I've got footage of um, the sunset with my uh, phone, with my P900 on a time lapse, and also with uh, each of these drones. So I just want to um, present that after this video. But one thing I want to talk about is when we're looking at the direction, looking at the direction from this location, um, I've noticed there are people who are drawing lines using the ruler tool in... Google Earth and confusing themselves by thinking that the direction is actually changing and going across the equator. That's because the ruler tool is drawing a great circle line and the directions on a great circle line are actually changing. So it's quite irrelevant what the direction is on a great circle line, this yellow line here. It's quite irrelevant what the direction is anywhere but the starting point. What we need to do to understand the sun angle correctly is actually draw a line that is straight in three dimensions because a great circle line is curved in the z-axis it curves around the earth and the sun is not physically on the earth over here somewhere near the equator we're looking in a straight line towards the sun so it's much more accurate to say that we're looking along this red line and i will go into that in a separate video i think i don't want to get too bogged down with it but um just going into some of my old flight planning um, Excel sheets that I did more than 20 years ago. What I've actually done, I've actually done two of them here and the first one is just showing you that if we start at that Bradley's Head Amphitheatre and we continue in a direction of 270 and then just follow the great circle line, the actual direction is changing and that's why it will eventually go up and cross the equator. If we look at this um, flight planner, I've put in the starting latitude and longitude, I've put in the position where it is across the equator as it's drawn on that Google Earth uh, image, and it's showing us a distance of 5,404 nautical miles. And what that 200 nautical miles is, is it's just putting in a separate waypoint every 200 nautical miles. And I'm doing that to show you that the direction is changing. See the course there? Initially it's 270 degrees, then it changes to 272, 274, 277. So it's actually changing direction. And that's not how we're seeing when we're looking out at the sun. We're looking in a straight line. So what I'm the point I'm trying to make here is that when people show you these images of um, Google Earth and draw these lines with the ruler, it's completely irrelevant to actually looking at the sun and understanding the direction. Completely irrelevant. When you look on a, a very small scale like this, okay, 
just a very small scale, it's only 1.73 nautical miles, I've actually plotted both of those positions, the starting point and the end point, in my flight planner as well. And over a very short distance, you'll see there's the Latin longs. It's also showing 1.73 nautical miles. Now this is a program I wrote more than 20 years ago and it's just a reliable, accurate, great circle calculator. It's good for flight planning. I've been using it for years just to verify even the, the more recent computerized flight plans you can get online. This uh, is just using raw math that I wrote myself and it's confirming uh, distances and directions accurately. You'll see there that the 1.73 matches perfectly with um, Google Earth, 1.73 nautical miles. But the important thing here is that if we put a waypoint every 0.2 nautical miles over that short distance, the course is not changing. It's 272 degrees for that whole 1.73 miles. So it is actually accurate to say that we are looking at this correct direction when we measure it on Google Earth over such a short distance. And I will go into that a bit more. I didn't want to get too bogged down with it on this video, but uh, hopefully that will explain um, why we can rely on these distances and these um, directions that we're looking at. Okay, I'll play the, uh, the video from today and uh, you'll see that the sun was actually setting exactly where this is predicting that it would. So it's uh, Sunday, March 26, 2017. That's the uh, Sydney newspaper for today. And I'm just down here at uh, Bradley's Head Amphitheatre again. Just going to video the sunset. Unfortunately, it's uh, six days after the equinox, but um, this is the first day that we've had clear skies, so I wasn't able to get a decent uh, video of the sunset prior to this. I've got the P900 set up. It's on a time lapse, just filming the uh, sunset. And I've also got a couple of drones, the DJI Inspire, and I've got my Mavic actually airborne at the moment. It's just sitting up there taking a video as well. This is the local time, 18.26, and uh, it's about half an hour to the sunset. And there's the uh, GPS coordinates. There's the uh, P900 set up, looking across at uh, the Sydney Harbour Bridge, and there's my uh, two drones flying. So there's two different perspectives. That's the uh, small drone. It's quite low. You can see the sun is down below the top of the Harbour Bridge. And uh, the other drone is a lot higher. It's 133 metres high. So uh, we're still looking over the top of the Harbour Bridge at the sun. And uh, it's just disappearing now. Looks like the little drone's getting some great footage. 